What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome to another video. Well, I'll say another video like you're my subscribers. This is actually gonna be on Yanomizer's channel because Yanni is currently away on holiday in Cyprus. So we're gonna be doing a video on my car. Obviously it is wrapped currently rose gold and it was a year, done a year ago. And obviously this color means quite a lot to Yanni. He's only done one other car rose gold and that is obviously mine. And everyone seems to love it. it. It's just gone down so well ever since I've had it and the wrap is still in amazing condition. So we're gonna have a look around the car, see what the car sounds like go for a little drive, I don't know really, just have a little bit of content whilst he's away on holiday. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to be doing in today's video is having a look at the wrap itself. So as you can see, rose gold was broken up with the satin black. So if you actually come round the car, you'll see the black going through the car. Uh, it starts off here, we've got some carbon as well um, going through the satin black, but this line is like part of the bonnet, but it's not like you can't wrap around it. So this was cut out obviously by Yanomize itself and uh, it goes straight through the back. We've obviously got the arches here. I don't know what you call this part, the windshield arches, I don't know. But that's bit, that is also satin black. You've got the door handles, wing mirrors, and also the fenders there on the side, um, all the way back to the boot, which is also in satin black. Then you've also got inserts on the front and the back. And also this bit here, which I don't know what you'd call this as well, but it's just above the exhaust. That is also black. Obviously the GTR gets really, really dirty and having that in black actually saves quite a lot of cleaning. So guys, I spoke to you about the wrap itself. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that you may like that I've also done to my car. So when I bought the car, it was a stock 2009 Black Edition GTR. I took it straight to Night Racer to get a stage 4.25 kit done, and it's gone from 485 brake to 650, so it's quite a big jump, and the difference is incredible. I also bought some carbon as well, so you can see if we have a look around the car, we've got the front splitter, we've got the front grille. Um, as we come around, you've got the side skirts, and you've also got the rear diffuser, which is here. Oh, I always seem to forget this when I'm going around the car because I'm looking around the bottom. But we also have the carbon spoiler, which, again, some people don't like, but I'd say the majority of people like. I really like it, personally. Uh, definitely an upgrade, and it's just subtle. It's not too big. Sometimes you see massive spoilers on GTRs, and it sometimes doesn't really work for them. I think this is quite nice. It's in between. All right, guys, so we also have a little bit of carbon underneath the bonnet of the car. So you can see here an engine bay cover from Night Racer again. And we also have these screw-on trumpets, which the reason why I upgraded to these, or I say upgrade, it's not really an upgrade, it's just a change, um, was because when I was went to Nürburgring, uh, one of the trumpets fell off, which was stock, and they were a lot shorter and a little bit wider. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna change the sound of my car slightly, play around with something. So I ordered two new ones. These whistle now, so you'll probably hear that in some of the footage that we're gonna get. It just pronounces more of the turbo sound. Also guys, as you can see, there's supposed to be a Nissan badge here, but when I was uh, doing the Modball Rally, there's 3,000 miles to cover, it did fall off. I don't know how, uh, it just, some things just fall off my car. One of the trumpets fallen off, now the badge or the emblem. I need to get a new one basically, I haven't had time to do it yet. Also, a couple of things I forgot to mention, we've got the lights here which are slightly smoked, so I got these done when I got the wrap itself from Yanomize. And we also have here the side LED indicators which are daytime running lights as well, you can see here this little bit of white, they'll be on all the time. Got them from Night Racer, and at the back the rear lights are called Valenti Jewel LED lights of some sort. These are a little bit different, and again it's just a little modification, nothing too mad, but I think it makes the car look better. And then last but not least, we have the Army Tricks exhaust system, which sounds absolutely amazing. And I went for the blue tips. I could have gone for matte black or just, I think, stainless steel. Uh, but I decided to go for the blue tips. You'll be surprised. It actually does go with the rose gold. Um, if you've seen it in person, you'll know it does. If, if you think it doesn't, that's cool. It's your opinion. But everyone that's seen it said they really like the blue tips. For some reason, it just works. So, um, yeah, it sounds really good as well. I think I mentioned that. It's just, it sounds too good. I love it. And also, I forgot about this one, but we've got some carbon fins here. They were a lot longer. They were a little bit deeper, and they, were, they come down here, and I kept slamming the humps, or the humps, <laughs> the bumps. <laughs> kept slamming bumps, man. Um, so I've shaved them off, and they're a little bit shorter now, but um, yeah, I keep forgetting about all the different mods I've done to my car. But that's the last one, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the last mod. <laughs> all right, so now it's time to actually start the car up and actually hear what it sounds like. So, as you do, open the door. Oh, we've got tinted windows. I didn't even mention that, but it's quite obvious anyway. Right, so what you do, automatic. So I've got the key in my pocket, foot on the brake, push to start. There you go. 
So before we actually rev the car, I've got two settings. I've got the first setting, which is going to be Pops and Bangs Map, and that's going to be also set for 95 fuel. So if I'm like really low on fuel and I have to go to a fuel station, I can use normal fuel. But the other one is going to be for the uh, Super Unleaded. Uh, in Map 1, it will pop and it will flame a lot more than the second map. <laughs> So it's time now to do a few different flybys in the car. And what I mean by a few different flybys, there's different different like settings you can use for the GTR. So the first one is going to be my pops and bang map, which basically means I'm going to go past in quite a low gear. It's going to be high revs and I'm going to touch the throttle and it's going to overfuel it and it's going to be pops and bangs coming out the back of the exhaust. Next one is going to be the cylinder cut shift, which basically will pop every time I change gear. Um, I'd say about 50% of the time flames will actually come out on the, on the gear change. So it's pretty cool. And the last setting is going to be your normal setting, so it'll just sound really loud and I'm just going to go pretty much as fast as possible. So guys, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. That's going to be the end of the video. We have lost light in England. It's almost 10 o'clock, but if you have enjoyed the video, drop a like. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more from myself and my GTR. Uh, there should be a link in the description. My YouTube channel is called Ezekiel N7. Anyway guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.